was good, y'all. Brent Sosa back in the building, and I'm coming at y'all with another video today. So as y'all can see from the looks of the title and your screen, today I'm going to be bringing y'all how to make the best guard slash small build in NBA 2K23 on NBA 2K22. Now, before we get any further into today's video, thank you, God, for this opportunity. But, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And let's go ahead and reach 50 likes on this video if you enjoy it today. So, to get started, I'm going to make this build out of the point guard position. And keep in mind, as I go along making this build, these are going to be the exact requirements and thresholds needed to unlock certain attributes, dribble moves, shooting, jump shots, everything taken into consideration. So, this is exactly or something like how I would make my 2K23 guard build. So, you could go anywhere from 6'3 all the way to 6'5. Now, if you go with 6'5, you're not going to be able to unlock all of the jump shots unless you do adjust your wingspan. So, what I'm going to do Go with 6'4", and if you go ahead and drop their wingspan down to 6'4", as well, that's going to bring us up to a total of a 92 ball handle, which means in NBA 2K23, we'll be able to unlock every single dribble package animation. Now, for the height, this is very important. Remember, 6'3 is possible, but I'm going to go with 6'4", just to be the tallest. Now, I did not go with 6'5", because you will not be able to get a 92 ball handle if they keep this builder system the same going into NBA 2K23. So, 6'4", 175 when it comes down to the weight. Then, for the wingspan, I'm going to go with 6'4", as well. Now, let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the finishing. For this build, we have a certain threshold that we need to reach in order to unlock certain dunks. So, quick drops off one foot. We need to go with at least an 80 dropping dunk. Then from there, pair that up with a 60 vertical. And that's going to be just enough to unlock those animations for the finishing in NBA 2K23. Now, as for the dropping layup, that's going to be a 60. Then for the close shot, this is going to be a 67. Now, as we go into this build, you can make your own adjustments as you want. But I'm keeping everything as if I'm making my 2K23 build with the same exact requirements. Now for the shooting, in order to unlock Curry's jump shot, you need at least a 96 three-pointer or mid-range. Now we did reach a 97 for the midi. I'm going to leave it at that and then for batch purposes and to spread the wealth. I'm going to go with a 91 three-pointer and a 71 free throw. Now right here, we get 36 badges for the shooting. But that means the rest is going to be left over for the playmaking, some for the defense, and the rest of the physicals. Now, so far, we're looking pretty good. We're able to unlock the dunk packages on 2K23 that we want, as well as the ability to unlock all of the jump shots for builds that are considered smalls for 6'5 and under. Now, for the playmaking, I'm going to start with a bow handle, go with a 92, so maxed out, and that way, we're able to curry slide in 2K23, as well as get Trey Young's signature moves. Now, for the pass accuracy, I'm going to go with the 73, 84 for my speed with ball. Now, I know most people are going to question, why am I going with an 84 speed with ball instead of maxing it out? Well, I did want to spread the wealth into the defensive area, and we still have the physicals that we need to work with. Now, to all my real ones who are still watching, go ahead and let me know in the comments for 2K23, which NBA player are you trying to make as your 2K23 build? But also, let's go ahead and work with the defensive area. So right here, we have to go with a 76 perimeter defense, 67 for the steal. Now, right here, we get 11 defensive badges. So if the builder system is anything similar to what we're seeing right now, I feel like this is probably going to be one of the very best builds to use, especially out of the point guard position. Now, as for the speed, you need to be very specific in order to make sure that we have a good enough stamina. So I'm going to go with an 86 speed. As for the acceleration, this is pretty optional, but I'm going to go ahead and put this to an 84. Now, for the vertical, we already have that at a 60, so that means for the rest of the attributes, I'm going to go ahead and throw this into my stamina, and right here, 
we're going to be able to reach a 90 and this is essentially what my 2k23 guard slash small build would be looking like now i know currently we are limited because we have to work with what we have on the nba 2k22 builder system but honestly if they keep it anything similar we're going to have a very nice guide to work with right here, especially if you're trying to make a Curry type build. You have everything that you need when it comes down to the offensive end. But as for the takeovers, we get the shot creating, sharp shooting, as well as the playmaking. So just off rip, I already know that we're going to be able to get a 99 three pointer and even a mid range. Now from here, this really comes down to your play style. I'm going to go with first limitless range and the second takeover normally i would consider ankle breaking shots but honestly pull up precision is more of a curry type build in my opinion now you can go ahead and pick any takeovers going into 2k23 but honestly i'm pretty satisfied with how this build came out now let's go ahead and check out which build name we're actually going to go ahead and get now as you can see together we have created the shot creator build and i'm telling y'all this is exactly a curry build in my opinion now one other thing that we do need to consider what this build is going to be looking like at 99 overall now also remember if you run with teammates that do have on floor general and defensive leader both on hall of fame you're going to be able to get a plus four put towards two different areas of your build. Now, keeping that in mind, if you add another plus four from buying your own boost, that's a plus eight in total. Now, if you did pick the playmaking takeover, that's a plus 10 and when activated a plus 18 in total, which means we're gonna be able to on this build, get a 99 mid range shot, 99 three pointer. Then when it comes down to the speed of ball, this is gonna go into the 90s and the same thing for our ball handle. Now let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the badges. Remember everything should be based off your own play style and preference. I'm gonna go ahead and start it out with silver, limitless takeoff, posterizer, as well as slithery finisher. Now for the final batch here, I'm gonna go with unstrippable on gold, but this is essentially what we're gonna be working with when it comes down to the finishing. Now, as for the shooting, this should all be based off what you feel like is gonna be best to boost your shooting percentages. Now, for my liking to be more like Curry, I'm gonna go with Hall of Fame Circus 3s as well as Gold Deadeye. Now, another badge that I normally would run on bronze would be Green Machine, but I'm gonna go with Hall of Fame for this build. Then from there, we definitely need to go ahead and put on Hot Zone Hunter. Now, we have a few more remaining badges. I'm gonna go with Hall of Fame Sniper, Gold Chef, and we still have five more that we're able to work with. So if you want to, you can definitely go ahead and change the tiers of badges or change it up. And I'm gonna go with Hall of Fame Mismatch Expert, and we still have three more that we're able to work with. So go with Silver Blinders. Then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and put on Volume Shooter on Bronze. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and go with a completely different setup from what I'm showing y'all. This is just my own preference and play style, but as for the playmaking, this is pretty solid as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and first start out with Hall of Fame Quick Chain. Now, as for what we're able to do on the offensive end, I'm telling you, we are well equipped in order to do everything when it comes down to shooting, playmaking, and we even have a little bit of defense on this build with the finishing. Now consider all of this taken into 2K23. This is a perfect guide on how to make the perfect build, especially for you. But as for the badges, you need to go ahead and put on handles for days on Hall of Fame. Quick first step as well, and then you cannot forget about Hall of Fame tight handles. Now as for the final badge, I'm gonna go with Silver Unpluckable. Now let's go ahead and move on to the defensive area. Now if you're looking to use this build for the final days of 2K22, Make sure to consider the extra badges that you're able to unlock. And also going into 2K23, I am more than sure we're going to be able to unlock extra badges throughout the year and each season. But right here, I'm going to go with bronze pickpocket as well as silver clamps. Now from here, you can pretty much go about it based to your own liking and preference. But I would definitely consider ball stripper, interceptor, or even pick dodger now honestly i just want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody who made it to this point of the video god bless y'all and i'm telling y'all in 2k23 i'm going to be bringing y'all every single build on that game just as i did this year so man with everybody who supported go ahead and comment down right now where are you tuning in from watching and as you can see with this build we're going to be able to get a total of 14 finishing badges then with the shooting we actually get 36 
27 for the playmaking and 11 defensive. Again, thank y'all for the support. Thank you, God, for this opportunity and another day. But with all that being said, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Go ahead and turn on post notifications so you can be a part of the Rich family. And let's reach 50 likes on this video. Now, again, thank you for staying to the end. And with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Thank you, God, and Rich out.